Welcome back to another Steven Universe review. In this episode, we're taking a look at Season 1, Episode 48, Story for Steven. This is one of my favorite episodes in the first season. I love flashback episodes like these. Yeah, I'm biased, I'll admit it. But that doesn't make it any worse of an episode. Even though, it's funny, when I think of this episode, I think of it more as a Season 2 episode than I do a Season 1 episode. But eh, that's how it works sometimes. So the episode starts off, we see uh, Greg and Steven, right? And Greg finds a picture of him with some other guy named Marty. And Greg, there's an amazing delivery of just like, oh, them laughing at the picture and he's dead to me. That's really funny. The delivery is great. But this ends up, right, the picture ends up triggering us up into a flashback of how Greg met Rose, now with Marty. And we start off with the song Comet and yeah, no, it, it's a really catchy song. I, I really like it. All, all of these flashbacks have great songs. The show, show just has great songs in general. But yeah, this is about Greg, right? And how he's going to be famous and a star and all that stuff. And of course, nobody shows up to the concert except for Rose. So he ends up meeting Rose after the cosmos. And of course, this is... The, I mean, yes, we saw Rose in Lion 3, but this is our first real experience with Rose. This is us getting really to see her, getting a better grip on her personality, what she's like, and we see some of the other gems later on. It's really interesting, but her and Greg, she, right, they kind of, they talk. I mean, he goes to give her some free stuff, and we see Vidalia and Marty, who, I mean, we know, we, we know what's happening in there, because... I don't think we know much about Vidalia now. We we will later on, but yeah, you <laughs> something was definitely going on in there. Something that you definitely can't talk about in a kids show. But Greg goes to find Rose, and he comes across a part of the beach that's fenced off with, <laughs> and there's an owl, and of course the owl's amethyst. A that's that's really funny. The amethyst owl, and that ends up going up to Pearl, talking about a human. And we see that Amethyst and Pearl in this moment are a lot younger. They also look very short. Actually, everyone in this flashback looks really short. I always expected them to be taller, but no, they're, they're a lot younger here. And it's really interesting because Am Amethyst is basically a toddler at this point. And you could already see her, right? She's, she thinks Greg is interesting, leading to their friendship eventually. That, that makes perfect sense, right? Pearl is hesitant, of course, and Garden's just like, uh, none of this matters, goes to throw Greg over the fence, but Rose comes out and is like, hey, yeah, you're the music man. And they talk, and they, they basically hit it off. Greg starts to fall in love with Rose. You can see it, you can see the chemistry blooming, and yeah, it's it's pretty good. And I, I love as they leave, Pearl's like, I can sing. Everyone laughs at it in show, and everyone laughs at it out of show, because it's really funny. It really is expanding on the lo Pearl's love for Rose. It really shows the tragedy of it as well. Greg and Marty leave town, and Marty, as they're leaving town, Marty's there. He's he's one of the show's irredeemable villains, right? Everyone can be redeemed in this show. Marty is not one of them. <laughs> But him and Greg and Marty get in a fight and eventually he's like, it's, oh, why have one giant woman when you can have a bunch of smaller ones? They're right, different ideologies, but Marty's an asshole. He's, he's the stereotypical music producer and Greg kicks him out and heads back and he plays a song to Rose, right, to get her to come out, Destiny. It's, it's not the most, it's an okay song. I don't really remember it. I can't even remember how it goes off the top of my head. But yeah, it's fine. And then Rose is like, no, I can't let you stay here. I can't let you give up on your dream. You ha you have wants. I can't let you give those up. It's like, that's going to be a problem because you're everything I want. An amazing pickup line. And yeah, that, that's where the episode ends. And Greg speculates that, oh, yeah, well, if it wasn't, he hates Marty. But if it wasn't for him, he would have never met Rose. And interest, it's that interesting dynamic of sometimes horrible people can unintentionally do good things, right? I see where it's coming from, and even though I've basically breezed over the entire episode, I, I really like it. There's a lot of great moments here, a lot of good character moments, a lot of how we see, oh, we see these characters when they were younger, and 
now we look at them later on and see how much they've changed how much there's a i argue all of these characters have grown up a lot between now and when we see them later and it's not even two decades later well and i mean we'll see that there's there's other flashback episodes this isn't the last one but yeah, it's it's just a really good episode. What can I say? Go check it out. It's it's one of my favorites in the season. I, I, any flashback episode is gonna is one of my favorites. Well, yeah, no, pretty much. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.